I'm sorry, what kind of coulomb? MC. What does that stand for? That's fine, you said micro, I'll write micro down. I don't think it's micro. If it were mm, what would it be? Milla. Right, it would be millimeters. Right? So this is just milla coulombs. Can I just throw a cross sectional uh, area of a nichrome wire. It's just the material, it's some sort of nichrome wire. It's three and a half seconds. Keep going. What is the current in the wire? And how many electrons pass through the cross sectional area in 10 seconds? So we have some sort of cross sectional area of some sort of material, nichrome wire. We know that nine millicoulombs pass through that wire in 3.5 seconds, part A. Find the current part B. If instead we're talking about 10 seconds, how many electrons pass through that wire? I did not put uh, these equal to any variables because I need to know what variables they are equal to. Stecker, the nine millicoulombs is equal to what? Total charge. Ah, what am I going to put? Am I going to put Q, Q sub T for total charge? What am I going to put? It's the charge that passes through the wire in 3.5 seconds. Who can help Stecker out? I'm sorry, say it. The in this is the change in charge. This is literally the charge that moves through the wire in 3.5 seconds, so that is delta Q. 3.5 seconds then is the delta T, so the current is equal to delta Q over delta T. Please give me the numbers. Um, Eric? Um, 0 0.009. 0 0.0, I don't see that number anywhere up here. What's that? You convert the, oh yeah, you divide by 1,000. Oh, well, we've done, I've said that we can do this one in our head by now. So 0 0.009, what? Cool. Coulombs, right? Because there are 1,000 millicoulombs in a coulomb. So we have 0 0.009 coulombs over our 3.5 seconds. We get what, please? 0 0.0257. 0 0.0257. 0 Give me a little bit more. That's fine, one, four, three is fine. Okay, so with sig figs, 0 0.0026, uh, 0 0.0026 dimensions on this, Megan? Um, cool. Right, and we call that? Yeah. An amp. That's with uh, two sig figs. We can also give this 2.6. If there were 2.6, what would the dimensions be then? Sydney? Milliamps. So we could give it in amps or milliamps. I just gave it in either one just for fun. You could do either. It doesn't matter to me. Part B. Figure out this wire in 10 seconds. Stuart, how do you want to solve that? Would your new charge be changing Q would be changing the charge of the electron? Well, we know it's electrons that flow through this wire. So the, the electrons would have the charge on an electron. That's true. Divide that by 10 seconds. Divide what by 10 seconds? Divide your charge of electrons by 10 seconds. The charge on electron by 10 seconds, that would give us, that would be pretending that we had one charge passing through the wire in a second, right? That's which is not what we have here. We're trying to figure out the number of charges that pass through the wire in 10 seconds. Jay? Um, I think we would put 0 0.0026 for I and then for the current rather yeah, than I yeah for the current and then for leave delta Q as a variable and then for time we now have figured out our current but the delta Q is the variable because we need to figure out first the charge that passes through the wire in 10 seconds so the change in the charge or delta Q is equal to the current times the change in time so delta Q, the change in charge, is equal to the current 0 0.00257143 multiplied by the time, the change in time, which is 10 seconds. So the charge that passes through the wire in 10 seconds is going to be 0 0.0257143 coulombs. Okay, this gets us close. We now know the, the number of coulombs that pass through the wire. I want to know the number of electrons that pass through the wire in 10 seconds. Yeah, just swing. Um, would you use Q we can use the equation Q equals N times E. Solve for N, which is 
the number of electrons acts equal to Q over the fundamental charge. So the charge that passes through the wire divided by the fundamental charge. Now, I know this is delta Q, which is by definition the charge that passes through the wire. In this particular case, that is the same as the charge that if we're simply trying to figure out the number of charges. So this Q and this delta Q happen to be the same. So the, the delta Q is 0.0257143 divided by the fundamental charge 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. N. 1.607, times 10 to the 17. 17th, and that's electrons. In other words, 1.6, I believe, 1.61 we have, oh, we only have two sig figs. 1.6 times 10 to the 17 electrons. Okay, couple things. Yes? I have a question. Uh, would the charge of the electron be negative? Great question. The electron has a negative charge. I agree. And we know electrons, so we should be using a negative charge. Yet we didn't. Why didn't we use a negative charge? Oh, that's opposite okay, what, remember the current is defined as what? The direction that what would flow? A positive charge. So all of this was defined using a, the flow of a positive charge. So we have to use a positive for our charge, even though we know it's electrons. So we label it as electrons, even though it's the reverse of um, what we think it should be. Okay. Let's talk about this number. One, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen electrons. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's one hundred sixty quadrillion electrons. In 10 seconds, which is not very long, with a current of 2.6 milliamps, which is not very much. 160 quadrillion electrons. Just to put it in perspective as to how many electrons we're talking about moving in these wires. 